Climate Watch AI and our environment. Now it's easier than ever to use a tool like Claude or ChatGPT to access artificial intelligence. But as WBZ meteorologist Alyssa Andrews shows us, that AI is fueled by computers using real world power. We can create just about anything in a matter of seconds thanks to generative AI. Make a country song about my best friend's wedding. Living out your dream on this starry night. How about pictures of me leading the Red Sox to a World Series? Honestly, close enough, but this time make me look more like Superwoman while I'm winning. Sure, why not? Well, this has been fun, but did you know all of this generative AI stuff actually uses up a ton of energy and environmental resources? But how much damage are we actually doing? I went to the MIT Climate and Sustainability Consortium to find out. Those are much more power intensive. So if you have a, a normal data center, AI data center would be up to 10x more power intensive. It would have more power demand. Think of it this way. One simple web search takes one unit of energy. Doing that same search, but using an AI model instead, takes 10 units of energy. And using AI to generate an image, well, that'll take you up to 1,000 units, which leads us to the extra environmental tax. There are also impacts of water usage because these chips that run these models get very hot and you need uh, water to cool them down. How big can one person's impact really be? Can we just relax and use AI? The answer is yes, and for those of you who want it, we basically just got the green light from an expert on the topic, especially if used responsibly. Putting everything on the end user and making them feel guilty is not the right approach, so I don't think that end users should feel completely responsible to do these, to, to, to manage this problem. However, there is a case to be made for judicious use of resources. Well, Dr. Bashir says while we can certainly limit our usage of the more powerful AI tools, it's ultimately going to take those companies that are training all these new AI models to drive long-term sustainability, you know, to help the power grid and to lower that environmental tax. Well, and also to create the awareness that you did with that story right there, because I had no idea that it required that much energy. Right, because, you know, typically when we speak about AI, it's the ethics concerns, but you don't right. think about the power that's going to be impacted at all. So that was very interesting. I mean, to generate one image a thousand times more than just just a right. simple Google search. And now it's so ubiquitous, sometimes you're, you're just trying to Google something and then an AI summary pops up Will anyways. pop up on its own, right. totally. So it's kind of hard to escape now. So there's gotta be something moving forward, but that's gonna take the industry to help us out. All right, good thing.